Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week, we will be talking about a new PlayStation boot ROM, updates to the Nintendo 64 core, improvements to the Neo Geo Pocket CPU, and more. Also, check out my channel sponsor, Mr. Add-ons, a place where you can get all your Mr. needs. Things like full Mr. setups, IO boards, accessories, and more. Now let's get to the news. Uber Yoji has released the boot ROM he's been working on for the PlayStation Core. It shows Mr. Kuhn dancing to some cool music and also shows off some cool effects. Uber Yoji also has boot ROMs for other cores, so check out his GitHub to download them. He also plans to work on boot ROMs for the Sega Saturn, Nintendo 64, and a color remix version of the Game Boy. Alternatively, you can set up update all to download all these boot ROMs by adding a line to the downloader.ini file. And you can get this line from Uber Yoji's GitHub. You do not have to use these ROMs exclusively with Mr. You can load these up on any emulator or even real hardware. Anton Gale showed off a screenshot of the in-development Exidy 2 core and its 6502 CPU implementation is running targ ROM code correctly. At the moment, the core was in early development and none of the graphics and sound hardware was implemented yet, except for the video sync. But then another later post told us about the core being tested with a diagnostic RAM. This testing confirmed zero page RAM, screen RAM, character RAM, and the control input all pass. However, the screenshot in the post shows wrong characters being used, but Anton believes an addressing issue is probably the reason they are showing up. There are two games up next for the Mr. FPGA Discord Game Challenge. These are two DOS classics, Dangerous Dave in the Haunted Mansion and Slordax. Compete with other Mr. FPGA owners to see who gets the high score in any of these games. The challenge would end on Christmas night and all scores should be submitted to the Mr. FPGA Discord. Pixel Terry Ninja conducted another excellent interview. This one is with Mr. Addons, a vendor of many Mr. products and a channel sponsor of mine. I highly recommend listening to the interview. The Nintendo 64 core has had a bug fix of the interrupt handling. This fixes an issue that made nearly all LibDragon based games and homebrew crash randomly. As you can see from the video, this bug helps out with Xeno Crisis, a modern game release for the Nintendo 64. If you're curious to know what LibDragon is, it is an open source Nintendo 64 development library. Another update to the Nintendo 64 core told us that it can now load games much faster, but to use it, you will need a new version of Mr. Main. The software side of this improvement was thanks to Markin. Wizzle looks to be working on adding another cool feature that integrates the Mr. FPGA remote and NFC apps with each other. Mentioned is the ability to create new tags from the game search results. This is a feature that will be a great time saver. Attract17 teased some upcoming announcements for the FPGA gaming and arcade community. It looks like there is at least some CPS2 announcements coming because pictures of two CPS2 chips were shown. Attract17 is also hoping to bring some announcements specifically for the Mr. FPGA. Otego has a great thread talking about the new approach that's being used to implement the Neo Geo Pocket CPU. He got fed up with debugging the former CPU design and is now much more confident in using the new approach. I highly recommend reading the thread if you enjoy learning new technical info. And the benefits of this new approach soon came to fruition. The source code for the CPU on the Neo Geo Pocket Core got reduced from 4,111 lines to 933 lines. If you are from the Houston, Texas area, you might have a chance to see the Mars FPGA in action. A Track 17 posted that we should expect to see the Mars FPGA at Texas Showdown 2024, one of the oldest and largest fighting game events in the US. I would now like to notify everyone that this will be my last video of the year as I will be going on vacation for the next couple of weeks. The next news video will be released on January 8th. I would also like to thank all of you for supporting my content. I really appreciate it. I will still be working on some other things for the channel behind the scenes and this break will help accelerate that. I hope all of you have a great holiday and new year. So that's it for this episode. Please also try to support Sorge, the maintainer of the Mr. Project and other Mr. Developers and Contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. I also provide links to all my sources in the description. Make sure to also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in block form and to get more retro related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and it's a bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.